I haven't known Crystal for too long, but just the little changes that I've seen here and the way that he's compressing the golf ball is pretty amazing. Okay, guys, let's dig into our analyses of these great golf swings from the past. And for me, it always starts with Ben Hogan. That's how this whole thing began. And although he doesn't have a tremendous over-the-top golf swing that's very obvious to the eye, it all began for me with a trace of his handle, the butt end of his handle, in one particular down-the-line golf swing. So if we take a look at this next swing here, we're going to see that he takes a club up into the inside, and if we trace the butt end of his handle, we can see that he has an over-the-top golf swing. Very slight, obviously. Now, I've been aware of this move for many years, practically my entire swing evolution, but I was always incredibly afraid to actually try to swing over the top because you're warned about it all the time. Hey YouTube, that was a little taste from my new instructional video, the over the top miracle swing. Now I'm super fired up this morning because I'm going to be talking about what I believe is the final piece of Ben Hogan's secret. Now I've been pursuing this for about a dozen years now. You guys have watched me transform my game and go from lowly hacker to all the way to being on the golf channel where they invited me to swing as my idol, Ben Hogan himself. I got to go to Shady Oaks. I got to hit the one iron shot at Marion. I got to hit his golf clubs and I even got to wear his golf shoes. How cool is that? Well, the beauty of it is I'm hitting it the best of my life now. And unfortunately for a while I got sidetracked because everybody's talking about shallowing it out, laying the club off and dropping it under. I got into that, trying to think that that's how Ben Hogan did it. And my swing was looking pretty good, but then I hit a roadblock when I pinched a nerve in my back. And that told me that, you know, maybe something isn't quite right about my swing right now. Well, I started to think about it and everybody always talks about Ben Hogan's hook, that he wrote his book and it's about stopping a hook. I don't really believe that, but people point out that Ben Hogan weakened his left hand grip and he had the little cup at the top of his backswing. That's what people think the, the secret is all about. And I think that may be part of it because Ben Hogan did have a problem hooking the ball. But let me ask you a question. Besides the face, there's another element to fix a hook that's extremely important. That's the path. You have to fix the path because if you're too inside out and the face is slightly closed relative to the path, you're going to hit a hook. So you have to make the path more neutral. What's the easiest way to make the path more neutral? Go over the top. He had a little over the top move. That's how he fixed his hook. Okay, so we're going to dig into this today. I'm going to do an in-depth analysis of Ben Hogan's golf swing. Now, you may have noticed that tons and tons of pros are doing this over-the-top rehearsal move. Guys like Tiger Woods, Hideki Matsuyama does it, and especially Jordan Spieth. Jordan Spieth is looking much, much better since he's started to fix his swing with this OTT move. But it's the number one thing that golf instructors say, no, no, you can't swing over the top. You don't swing over the top. It's a death move. It's absolute hogwash, okay? I've shown you that many of the greatest golfers in history had over-the-top golf swings. Guys like Arnold Palmer, Jackie Burke, and Gary Player was inside OTT. The difference is all of these pros make their OTT move from a great top of the backswing position. They're open, they're deep. When they make their little OTT move, that just allows them to get on top of the plane. If you're in a bad position, like most amateurs, their you know, backswing is not ideal. When they try and go OTT, that's when that nasty slice comes out of nowhere. It's the most natural way to swing the club. That's why kids do it automatically. 
and it's the most powerful way to hit golf shots. So let's dig into Ben Hogan's ultimate secret. And don't forget, if you want to pick up the over the top miracle swing, go to myswingevolution.com. It's an awesome video. It's just 42 minutes long. It details everything about the over the top miracle swing. And even better, pick up a subscription to MSC TV where you get the over the top miracle swing plus my ongoing research into drills and new ways to get this feeling that's changing golfers' lives all around the world. So let's dig into Ben Hogan's awesome golf swing. So as we look at the swing of Ben Hogan, there's something mesmerizing about it. The fluidity, the power, the grace, the ultimate sense of balance that he has. There's just something that's so so amazing about it that draws me to it over and over again. And I've been looking at it for a dozen years, but there's something unmistakable that I see now that I didn't see in the past. And that's this slight over the top move. Now that I'm doing this, I'm amazed at what it feels like in my body. And I'm not surprised that this is something that just didn't come my way for a long, long time because it's practically invisible. And yet Ben Hogan said the secret's easy to see as long as you know where to look. So let's take a look at this swing from Ben Hogan down the line with what looks like a fairway wood. Looks like he's trying to hit a low bullet underneath these trees. We can see the lasso move at the top something I've mentioned quite a few times on my channel. That's where the club goes from being down the line or pointed slightly across the line to suddenly being laid off in transition. And for me, that partly has to do with the change of the direction of energy in the hands. So if we now insert some dots, we're going to see something a little bit interesting from this golf swing. We see the half moon crescent backswing trace that I have seen with so many great golfers and the slight over the top move. Unmistakable. Now I'm going to zoom in so we can really get a close up look at these points in his swing. The quality isn't so good when you blow it up, but we can still trace his handle path. Inside and up and over. And this is going to get him in a position where he can really clear his left side on the downswing. And nobody did it better than Ben Hogan. Now, I thought this swing would be instructive to put in here. Everybody knows I'm talking about swinging over the top, but it's hardly visible. Now, the point that I'd like to make is, guys, I'm taking it inside deep, and I'm going over about as hard as I can. Like, I am trying to swing down over the top and low left. Now, if that's me doing it as hard as I can, and I'm really, you know, I shift laterally like Mr. Hogan, you know, let's put some dots in here to see what it looks like. It has a very similar pattern to what we saw Mr. Hogan's swing had. And I, in my body, I'm feeling like I'm taking it inside up and over hard really trying to get over on top of it. I think we're about the same height, so that might have had something to do with it. But there's no question about it that this is what it turns out to look like for me. So let's take a look at Mr. Hogan and I next to each other doing this. The two swings have a very similar hallmark in the handle trace. 
and that's me going over the top as hard as I can. Now here's some of this footage from Pepe Cano, which is so fantastic. At first, I'm just going to put a few dots in here. But we can clearly see that the downswing path is over the backswing path. That's the important move right there. So it's my belief that it's this outward handle move, this over the top handle move that flattens out that shaft. I call it the lasso move because it's like the, the club head is lassoing behind him like if he was swinging a rope but he gets it right on top of the plane and down through the ball, low left. Just beautiful. Part of the point of it for me is when I go over, that allows my body to get into a position where I can feel like I'm aggressively turning left and opening my body. Now watch how quickly Mr. Hogan goes around the corner. He goes out to the ball and his body is completely open as he swings that club down low in front of his body. So that's the swing of the great Ben Hogan. I think he's the greatest swinger of the club in history. And we are so fortunate to have this footage of him preserved for all of history so we can emulate this great golfer to try and be the best golfers we can be. I hope you check out the Over the Top Miracle Swing, and I hope you hit them long and hit them straight. Do you have trouble slicing the golf ball? How many times have you heard people tell you, you're swinging over the top, that's your problem? What if I told you the natural motion of swinging over the top is actually the best way to hit the golf ball? Would you think I'm crazy? Well, I'm here today to tell you about the over-the-top miracle. The best part is it's a natural motion based on a throw. I, what I worked on there was trying to get as far back as I could inside, tried to stay down through the ball. Do you think uh, you picked up some yardage since we've been working oh, on this stuff? On the driver, at least 50 to 60 yards. It's dynamite. It's crazy. You don't have to be stuck with an over-the-top slice. That's why I created the new video, The Over-the-Top Miracle. Transform your game with the over-the-top miracle swing at myswingevolution.com.